Hello everyone, it's Dragon Platinum here, and today is day three of playing Crazy Week. So, day one we made a ourselves a huge bomber plane, day two we made a rocket ship, and now for day three we're going to go a little bit smaller, because the last two builds took a lot of time, and uh, yeah, I'd like to make something a little bit easier today, and today we're actually going to be making a speedboat. So I thought that might be cool, uh, I've never built one before, I, m I made a jet ski once actually, let me pull that up. Because uh, I did make a jet ski, if it's somewhere in here. There it is. It's really tiny. But uh, we're going to be basically kind of building off this. Kind of same concept, but we're going to make ourselves a speedboat. So, I kind of also want to incorporate uh, this design here that I kind of came up with, with the propeller being attached to a motor so it could turn properly. But uh, we'll see how that turns out. Let's start with... Because we're going to need a nice base. Now, I am going to eventually plan on you know what we're not we're not gonna use single blocks because last time i used single blocks it took multiple hours and uh we're just gonna we're gonna use longer blocks because it'll be easier on my poor poor hands now uh at least some blocks because why not uh we are going to make this a little bit longer than what the jet ski was because the jet ski was really tiny and i want to have enough room for maybe some passengers uh Definitely I want to have some room for the engine. Oh my god, I almost got run over. I'm just trying to build here. <laughs> and uh, we are just going to make like a nice big platform. I'm planning on having some people in the back. Maybe like some sidewalls. And uh, we're going to try to round out the bottom for speed. I don't know if that actually affects it in the water at all. But uh, we'll find out. And uh, let's get building. Okay, so I'm really not sure how we're going to go about making the bottom. Because we need to... I want to get it nice and rounded. But I'm not totally sure how I'm going to do that. If I'm going to do something like I just take a bunch of wedges, because I love wedges now. Uh, if I take something like this, and wedge, wedge one by four. Yeah, that's what we want. And if I just kind of attach it like so, is this going to be... No, 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 hold on. There we go, we kind of got our front like that. I'm not sure if there's a way I could actually make it look a little bit better, because I don't like how blocky it looks. I kind of want to make it look nice and rounded, but I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I I'm sure I might be able to figure it out with wedges, but uh, we'll see how that turns out. I might try I might try using different wedges to really round it out and make it look nice, but uh, that honestly doesn't look too bad right now. I have no idea what's going on here, <laughs> but they, they do be spinning. They really do be spinning. <laughs> Maybe I'm doing this all wrong. Maybe I should probably... I, I didn't even think about this. Why didn't I do this when I started? If we first round out here, that might make it a little bit easier for me to build off from everywhere else now that I can actually see what I'm doing and what I'm working from. But we will see, I guess. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. It definitely looks a, a lot more rounded than it did. But I do kind of want the bottom to be a lot more, I don't know, just sleeker, I guess. I'm, I'm really not sure how I'm going to do that. I might just have to, hmm, I might just have to kind of bite the bullet and just go with the design that I kind of had, but I'm not sure if I want that. Yeah, I kind of wish that there was a half triangle wedge block. I think that would really help me right now with this front part, but I, I don't have one. So I don't think that's going to be my saving grace on this one. So I think we're just going to have to just scrap all this. And I do like the half blocks, so I think they do add something to this. But we're just going to use just the thing that I came up with originally. And we're just going to stick on a bunch of longer wedges. And although it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination... Uh, that is what we're going to be going with, and hopefully it doesn't look too, too bad. Okay, so we've got the base of our boat right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some blocks and just put these across. So that is where our triangle blocks end. Okay, so what we're going to try to do here is we're actually going to use some wedges. And actually, I want to try... There was one wedge that I saw that I wanted to try. Where is it? It was like a fancy wedge. But I don't know where it is. 
Okay, there we go. That looks a little bit nicer for our little viewing area for when we drive. So we got that. That is good. That looks nice. I like the look of that. Now we just need to add the sides, which is going to be super easy, like boom. We are basically already done that. And I might make this a little bit longer because it looks a little bit uh, chunky, but um, we'll see how we can turn this out. It, it does look nice, though. I'm, I'm liking the look of it. I think just powering it and making it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing is uh, what we're trying to do. Okay, there we go. So we've got the overall look shape of our boat. I the, the front is starting to grow on me a little bit, honestly. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, yeah, it does look okay. Uh, I would kind of like to, however, if I can climb up. What is wrong with me? Come on, buddy. There we go. If I can just climb up here. Maybe if I just kind of slim this down slightly and made it with half blocks, maybe that might look a little bit nicer. I don't know. We're going to give it a test. After literally one second of testing, no, I did not like it. <laughs> so we are going right back to what it was before. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I agree with that message. Sub to Dragon Platinum is a good message. So hey, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, that is cool. Now I've got probably gonna have this flying around the whole video. Oh my god, that thing's huge. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, we're gonna do a little test drive here. We've added an engine. We've added some seats. Uh, slight issue is that we're not actually in the water. Okay, that's one thing I'm going to need to change. <laughs> yeah, our propellers are just barely in the water. So I think we need to add maybe... I'm going to... might stick a couple helium blocks in the front. Or, like, inside the nose of this thing to lift it up a little bit like a speedboat. So we're going to go try to do that. Uh, and, yes, the sub to Dragon Platinum blimp is still sitting <laughs> right next to my base. Okay, so this is what I was trying to do with... Um... <laughs> okay, this isn't, this isn't exactly what I was trying to do. But uh, we were trying to get a nice turning motor at the back, similar to the one that I did for the jet ski, except a little bit different, whereas it looks a little bit better. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have to bring this down just by one. Okay, I lowered it down by one. Now we're actually in the water, which is nice. Uh, we do have turning capabilities. Very good. I might make it a little bit slower in the turning department. However, we're not very fast. And for a speedboat, that's not a good thing. So, I do have a plan, and it's going to involve shoving a whole bunch of propellers in the bottom part of the boat. But uh, let's, let's give it a test. I don't know if this is actually going to work. I just know that it works with planes, so why not work with boats? If it, if it works with planes, it might as well work with boats. Okay, another test. Let's see. Uh, I'm in the water. Okay. There we go. That's a lot faster. And we've actually got some speed to it. It goes around pretty quick. Yeah, this is this is looking good. This is pretty much exactly what I wanted. Um, there is one issue, and that would be the turning with this thing. Now, I'm not sure if there's a way I can kind of limit how far it turns. I don't know. But... Uh, other than that, it looks... I think it looks really cool. Uh, I didn't mean to crash. Whoopsie. Is there a way... If I just edit the motor, is there like a... I did change some of the torque stuff. Toggle? No, I don't want that. If we add maybe... This to like... 5? So it goes slower? Something like that might be better? Um... I don't know. Much other than that, like... It, it looks nice overall. Let's just get one more test drive and see if we go. Okay, we're going. If we turn. Okay, that, that's a bit nicer on the turns. Yeah, that's much better on the turns. It's not as quick and destructive. Okay, so I think we're just going to give this thing the good old paint job and see what we get from there. Okay, so the ship is looking nice and painted up. We used some metal, we used some wood, and we used some wood grain, and I think it looks really good. Personally, I mean, I made it, so of course. Um, but I also, I'm really proud of this kind of propeller system that I got the back, because the one that I made on the jet ski was really simple and simplistic. But this one got a little bit more added to it, 
and hopefully we can show off the speed here in a second so let's make sure everybody's in okay everybody's in good so let's just see if we can turn oh yeah we turn in that looks good I think it looks really good and I'm proud that I was able to put a whole bunch of stuff in the bottom and I missed I missed a spot whoopsie um but like yeah I think I did really good with it and just shoved a whole bunch of the propellers in the bottom so that it would turn out all right and now that I'm looking at it without um, like the bottom part sort of showing and just with these I think that that actually does look okay and it sticks up enough above the water just like I wanted it to to be nice and speedboat lookish big brain move yeah it was a big brain move I don't even know what you guys are talking about I've been paying attention to my boat um, but yeah the one thing though is that can I actually Turn this thing 360 degrees. I, yeah. So that is a thing that can happen. Um, I don't know if there's a way that I can prevent this from turning all the way around. Because that would be nice to be able to change. But, um, yeah. Also, just to get everybody nice and scared, we're going to drive ourselves off the edge. And that'll be funny. See? Here we go. <laughs> off we go, everybody. Nobody, oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, I forgot my driving mechanics. Turn it this way, turn it this way, and there we go. Oh, game had a little bit of a freeze, and we. All right, time to add this one to the save file. Do I have an open slot? I do. We're going to name this one the Speedboat. Speedboat, give that a good old save. And there we go, we've got ourselves a nice looking boat. I think there's definitely a lot that could change here that could be improved on. Definitely, I think there's something, there's got to be something to change with the front just to make it look a little bit nicer. But overall, I think it looks okay. Uh, I wish I knew a little bit more about the motors to be able to maybe have it like stop at certain angles. That could be kind of nice, but uh, for now, overall, I'm really happy with the build. I'm happy how it turned out. And I'm happy that I made something a little bit smaller than the uh, rocket ship and the bomber because... Those took quite a while to make and uh, were pretty intensive. But anyways guys, like I said, that's really all I have for this video. And if you're reading that sign, do what it says. Because uh, these videos take a lot to make, but I do really enjoy making them. And your subscription helps me a ton. But anyways guys, that's all I've got for this video. So if you guys like this video, feel free to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always guys, it's Dragon Platinum, signing out. Peace out guys. Bye.